Hi everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. It is super noisy and very very busy right before Passover begins. Uh, this year we were invited out so I didn't have to cook that much. I just made a bunch of desserts, salad, um, and garlic um, aioli and stuffed onions. So this week I wanted to share with you how I made my three very very easy kosher for Passover desserts. So let's get into the video. We're gonna be starting off with these almond florentine cookies. They are so super delicious and very quick to make. You start off by placing four cups of almonds that have been slivered or sliced. And then to that, I add in half a cup of sugar and two egg whites. So the way that I do it is I crack two eggs into a bowl, take a spoon and remove the yolks. And this way I know that the yolks will not pop into the egg whites. This is just a trick that I use. I then place in the egg whites into the rest of the mixture and mix everything thoroughly. It will seem a little bit dry to you. It doesn't have like a pancake batter feel, but that is completely fine. I take parchment paper and place that on a cookie sheet and place in a tablespoon at a time onto the tray. This recipe makes about 20 to 24 cookies. When the batter is placed onto the tray, just make sure to flatten them a bit. I cook them in a 330 degree uh, preheated oven for about 15 minutes until they are perfectly cooked through. I then also make a chocolate ganache which I place over a double boiler and if you find that the chocolate is too thick and you want to thin it out, I just add in a tablespoon of oil and it becomes nice and thin. I really really like the look of the almond florentines when they're drizzled with some chocolate and you are absolutely able to just take a spoon and drizzle on the chocolate over the cookies i also just try to put some of the chocolate ganache into a ziploc bag and do it this way as well but i actually did prefer to do it just with a spoon they came out so perfectly they have this chewy center which was incredible next recipe that I want to share with you are the zebra crinkle cookies. I've tried multiple different recipes and I'm going to be sharing the one that I really liked here the most. Into a bowl, I add in two eggs and a quarter of a cup plus one tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of vanilla, three fourths of a cup of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of almond flour goes in next. I then add in one cup of potato starch and one cup of sugar. I mix everything really well with a spoon and at first it's going to seem like wet sand and that it's not going to get formed really well but trust me as soon as you start digging in with your hands it's going to form really nicely. So I formed them into little golf size balls and then I placed them into the confectioner's sugar on the side over there, coat them completely and place them on a parchment lined baking tray. I flatten each cookie down because because they're not made out of regular flour, they don't spread as much. So I'm going to be helping them along by just smushing them down with my hand. I 
I bake them in a 350 degree preheated oven for 8 minutes. The next recipe that I want to share with you is how I make my mazurka. In a bowl, I place in 5 eggs, a splash of vanilla extract, and 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. I then place in two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. A few of you have commented that you're surprised that baking powder is kosher for Passover. And yes, it is, as long as it says that it is on the container. I then add in one cup of cake meal, one cup of walnuts, and I also always usually add in one cup of raisins, but I could not find any in the store, so I'm going to be improvising and adding in one cup of craisins instead. And actually, my kids preferred it that way, and they really, really did enjoy it. I then add in one cup of sugar. A lot of you message me if you can decrease the amount of sugar. You definitely can try. I never have, but the recipe is one cup of sugar. And then to thin out the batter, I add in a quarter cup of water. It's supposed to be like a thick pancake batter. So by adding in the water, it helps to dilute everything. And this is what your batter should look like. You can either bake this in a 9x13 or an 8x8. I have an 8x8 here that I have lined with some parchment paper. I place the entire batter into the pan and then cut off the edges of the parchment paper so that it doesn't burn in the oven. And I bake it in a 350 degree oven until everything is browned and cooked through, which usually takes about 30 minutes. To take everything up a notch, I'm going to be sprinkling everything with some confectioner sugar. So when you saw me in a previous clip when I'm drizzling the Florentines with some chocolate, I did this first step. I did dust everything with some confectioner sugar to make it all look nice and pretty. So here are all of the goodies that I made for the mazurka. I did add in the chocolate ganache that I had left over from my previous recipes, but traditionally it is dusted with some confectioner sugar as well. I hope you guys all enjoyed these yummy, delicious, quick and easy recipes. And I hope that you might guys make them. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe here. And I'll see you all next time. Haksameya, from my family to yours.